Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Gwent. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a new deck. This is a Scoia'tael control deck uh, that I've called Bounce House. This is uh, inspired by a deck I saw in one of my buddy Zul'jin, uh, my buddy Zul'jin's videos. Uh, I'll link it in the description if I remember. He put it up yesterday. But basically, the idea is to use these three guys, these Blue Mountain Commandos, to replay card effects. So, like, these Hawker Healers add three strength to all other non-gold units in a row. We've got three of those. We've got three of these Dalbothana Archers, which remove five strength from an opposing non-gold unit. We have three Mahakam Defenders, which are essentially uh, kind of the core of this deck because they stay on the battlefield at the end of every round. So if you can buff these guys up really well using the Hawker Healers, some of these Swallow Potions, other things, that power just sticks around, and it really gives you some staying power. We also have uh, Zoltan Cheve for that same reason. keeps He stays in the battlefield at the end of each round as well. Uh, we've got these Elven Mercenaries, which play a random non-gold special card, so one of my, our special cards down here. Uh, these are Some of these are kind of filler units because Zul'jin... Uh, has put a lot more time into this game than I have and has significantly more cards and better cards than I have as well. So this is kind of like the poor man's uh, Scoia'tael control deck, if you will. Uh, we also have a Sheldon Skaggs, uh, just a kind of generic 10 power melee card uh, that can be affected by all this other stuff. We've got uh, Geralt and we've got a Zoltan Animal Tainer, Tamer. And then down here, we've got two Swallow Potions. I'd like that to be three, but I've only got two of them. Uh, I, I only own two of them. Uh, two Manticore Venoms. These I'll probably swap out for something else once I have better cards. We've got a Stamil's, Stamilford's Trevor's. That's such a hard card to say. Blah, pronunciation words. Uh, we'll probably get to swap that out. And then I also have a Commander's Horn in there too. So... As I said, this is kind of a poor man's Scoia'tael control deck. Um, it does all right. It does all right. I've played a couple matches with it, and I have won with it, uh, but it certainly has room for improvement. Let's go ahead and dive into a couple matches with this guy. Uh, let's see. Bounce House. And we're calling it... I, I call it Bounce House because it kind of relies on that bounce mechanic um, from... Uh, our leader, as well as some of the other cards in the deck, to basically replay effect cards and get their effects multiple times. Uh, hopefully we'll get a decent draw and we'll be able to kind of show you how this works a little bit. Uh, ooh, thought we had a match. There we go. Oh, and we're up against monsters. Uh, this deck, in its current state, really struggles against weather. So, <laughs> this might actually be terrible. Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't need two of those. Move five strength. I don't need that many. I don't have any of my... Oh, man. I'm missing, like... <laughs> oh, this is not good. Okay, um... Let's ignore this and save that ability for now. Yeah, this may not go well. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll see. Uh, let's get a Mahakam Defender. Hopefully this isn't a weather deck. Uh, we can do okay against monsters as long as it's not weather. Weather just wrecks this deck. Uh, because I don't really have anything to deal with it because I just don't have the cards for it. Okay, so we've got our Defender out. Let's go ahead and play one of these Dalbothana Archers and hit Aridin. So that gives us a little 7 point swing there. And he's going to pass. Huh. Why don't we play a Swallow Potion? Um. Hmm. I don't want to waste my Hawker Healer if I can avoid it. I don't really want to waste that either. Let's just do this. Let's get rid of the Aridin. Ah, I probably should have played something different there, but instead of the uh, the Swallow Potion, but it's okay. We'll pass right here. We're not doing too bad. He's got card advantage. He has 10 cards in his hand, which is quite a lot. 11, 12. 
And I'm up to nine. Uh, we're going to let him... Oh, ah, I didn't pick it fast enough. I was going to let him go first, but that's okay. Uh, we will play Sheldon Skaggs. That seems like a decent opening move. Now, we do have... We did draw another Hawker Healer, so we actually can get some pretty good stuff here. Uh, let's go... Hawker Healer and play that. That'll buff these units up. Mm, immune to Frost. I don't like the look of that, because Frost is going to wreck me. We'll see. We, ought to help one or the other. we may have to go for it. We may... We may get burned. We're just going to have to go and hope that he doesn't play Frost. Eh, and there it is. Well, we are out of luck. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, and I don't have... Yeah, I don't even have clear skies in here. Hmm. Well, we could get rid of all of these wild ha hunters... That gets him down to 14. I'm trying to think if there's any way that I can actually win this. He's just... He's got such a big card advantage on me, though. I should have saved that Swallow Potion. Yeah. I think I'm... I'm gonna pass. We'll still keep our defender, but... Ugh. As I said, this deck really struggles against weather, so not a great matchup there, unfortunately. Not not the matchup I was hoping for. I was hoping for basically anything other than weather. Uh, luckily, the weather now goes away. Uh, we will let opponent go first. Because this is kind of a reactionary deck. Yep, oh, there goes my defender. Well, dang it. <laughs> Let's do this. And we got Stamled Spurs Tremors, which is totally useless in this scenario. Yeah, we're we're gonna lose this. Uh, well, I mean, I suppose it's technically possible to win, but it's highly improbable. Um, let's play him, and I guess we'll do that. This is not. Yeah. I'm I'm not super Oh, that's gotta be a bronze unit though. Hmm. And I if I had that Stamels for his tremor still, that would be amazing, but I don't. So no good there. If we do this well, we do have a commander's horn. Yeah, let's do this. We'll get you. Play that again. That'll help me get rid of all of these foglets. We might have a very small chance of possibly being able to make this work. <laughs> uh, I somehow doubt it. Although, what we could maybe do here... We could go... Play... Actually, let's do this. Let's put our Swallow Potion on the Blue Mountain Commando. We still have a Commander's Horn hiding here. And Scorch. Yep, we are truly and completely and utterly out of luck. I'm just going to go ahead and pass and concede the game. GG. GG. <laughs> All right. Let's try another one and hope we don't get up against a uh, a weather deck this time around. Oh, man. As I said, now you've seen the weakness of this deck. Uh, weather. Definitely, definitely a huge problem. Oh, man. That's all right. You win some, you lose some. It's okay. Hopefully we won't play another weather deck. Because when this deck shines, it really shines. It's it you can it's really it's really a fun deck to play, honestly. And weather again. Are you kidding? 
Uh, have no place in well, maybe not weather, but probably weather. Let's just see here. Uh, let's just lead with Sheldon. Oh, wait, I'm I'm losing my mind. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of Stamlesford's Tremors. We do have the Commander's Horn, which will be helpful. We do have those. I would really, really like... I would really like... No. No Medic. Okay. Or Healer. The Healer is what I really needed there, but... We might be able to make this work. Um... We'll ignore that for now. We'll play the Mahakam Defender. And it's a weather deck. Of course it is. Will. All right, I'm going to play out this the rest of this match, and I will come back once we are playing something other than a weather deck. All right, and we are up against another Scoia'tael deck, actually, so this could actually be really interesting. Um, let's see how this one goes. I lost the weather match, as I kind of expected to. Uh, let's see, so we've got our defenders. Those guys are good. We do have a Hawker Healer. We don't need this many special cards. Um... We'll get rid of Geralt. All right, there's one of the, the one of the commandos there up on the battlefield. Let's get rid of a swallow potion, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Another hawker healer. So we start with two defenders and Zoltan. So that's a lot of staying power between rounds. That's good. And I feel like that's a good opening move. don't have... Well, I could get rid of the the prize-winning cow. That could be useful. Because then we get... Then he doesn't get that nine-point bump in the next round. We'll see. Strength, we'll let this pan out. We'll see what kind of a... Adrenaline rush. Hmm. I think he was hoping that was going to be something other than adrenaline rush. Just my guess. I want to get my defenders out and then start laying down healers so he can't get rid of my units because Scoia'tael does have some weapons at their dis at their uh, disposal to get rid of stuff. And we do have a commander's horn as well. So actually this could be really good. You get a lot of power out. Ah. Dwarven skirmishers. That's unfortunate. And killed my dwarven skirmisher again. Well, there basically goes our whole strategy. <sighs> and I don't have a way to resurrect anything. Let's do that, and then I think we're going to concede this round. Because then we'll have a little bit of an advantage going into the next one. You're going to use Francesca? You're going to use Francesca to redraw up to three cards. Hmm. I think we'll concede the round right here. Because we could maybe pull out a win, but we would expend everything we have to do it. And there just wouldn't be much of a benefit. So let's pass. We'll have a slight advantage going into the next round. I'll have a two-point advantage. Which I guess is better than nothing. And let's see what we draw... <sighs> Nothing incredibly useful. Um, now he's laying out 
Mahakam Defenders. Okay. So I'll play this and get rid of that guy. We can two two can play this game. Are you gonna lay another Mahakam Defender? No, he's gonna play Garrel. Okay, that's fine. So now let's lay. Let's see, what special cards do I still have in my deck? Let's look at our graveyard real quick. We don't have any special cards in there, so I've got a Swallow Potion, a Manticore Venom, and then the Stamboldsford's Tremors. So, hmm. I think for now, I'm just gonna lay a Hawker Healer. Not getting amazing value there, but... Ah, uh, no! Okay. Well, that's a problem. Let's go here, I guess. And that'll get rid of one of those units. Scoia'tael has very weak cards overall, like as far as strength goes, but they have a lot of effects that really kind of make up for it. So it's really kind of an interesting and fun faction to play. I like it a lot. All right, let's play our medic again. And what I want to do is win... Oh, I have to win this round and the next one, don't I? Huh. Alright, let's do that. And play that again. That'll give us a nice little bonus that gets me up to a two-point lead. Sheldon Skaggs, okay. Um, that'll give me a lead again. There we go. And then he does the same thing. That would be eight. I really wish that I had one of these units that would carry over. I do have my Commander's Horde hiding down here, which I can use if I need to, but I'd really prefer not to have to do that. Uh, or he can Commander's Horn. Uh, okay. Well, looks like we both have to. And he forfeited. I don't know why. I'll send good game, but... I think he certainly could have won that second round, depending on what he actually drew. But you can kind of see, it's a fun deck to play. It's an enjoyable deck to play. I like it. Uh, certainly it has room for improvement, given, you know, that it's kind of got... Uh, as I said, it's a poor man's Scoia'tael control deck. Um, I will definitely be working on it as we go. Uh, let's see. Some of the things that I want to have in it, I would love to have Nature's Gift. That's a very versatile card that would be very, very helpful to have. Um, there's a few different ones. There's one card, I forget what it's called, but it basically lets you replay a silver, uh, or it, it lets you replay a, a special card, essentially. And that would also be really good to have in this deck. Uh, so there's certainly some room for improvements and tweaking but overall it's a fun deck and i really like it it's fun to play with but anyway guys i am out of time for this episode so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave me a comment i do appreciate it and it really helps out my channel you can also find me on facebook twitter and twitch there are links in the video description below so check that out as well otherwise guys thanks for watching and i'll definitely see you next time